program to find the uh, frequency of a presence of an element within an array. To start with, uh, we'll be including uh, the header files called as hash include iostream.h. And uh, in addition to that, we'll be including one more uh, header file called as conio.h. Uh, and after that, I'll define a class called as frequency. And within this class, I'll be having uh, two part uh, that is the private as well as uh, public. And after that, uh, within this public, what I'll do is I'll have n number of uh, member functions. So in C, we call it as functions, but here we call it as uh, member functions. So we'll be having uh, get data. Uh, this is one of the member function and after that uh, we'll be having uh, one more uh, member function called as find frequency and uh, we'll have one more function called as uh, display so and after that I'll close this particular uh, class now you can see that this get data uh, is uh, one of the uh, member function wherein which we'll get the uh, size of the array as well as the array elements and uh, the element which has to be found out uh, within the array how often it occurs within an array now uh, what we'll do is uh, declaration part still I won't uh, do anything over there uh, let me come back to uh, at this particular point now I need to define what is called as uh, void frequency over here I'll be using a scope resolution of data and again I'll be using uh, get data uh, this get data uh, is a member function which belongs to the free frequency class and if you write the member functions outside the, outside the class then you need to use the scope resolution operator so here what we'll do uh, we have to get the size of the array uh, for that, I'll just display what is called as enter the uh, size of the array. And after that, I close it. Uh, see out is used to display the uh, string, and uh, see in, I'll use it to get the value from the user. And after that, I should uh, get the array elements. So, in order to do so, so what I'll do, I'll uh, say enter the uh, elements. of the array and after that I'll close it so for this I'll be using the for loop uh, within for loop I'll be declaring declaring int i is equal to 0 i less than n and then i plus plus and after that I'll close it so within this I'll be using uh, cn uh, in order to uh, get the uh, array elements and after that I'll close that particular statement and after that again I need to uh, get one more input from the user uh, that particular user is nothing but C out I'll say enter the search element and after that I'll close that particular statement so here I'll use uh, C in to get the uh, search element which occurs repetitively within an array now what I'll do, uh, the main calculation part, uh, that is void frequency. So within this, I use the scope resolution of the operator. So remember one thing, that any member function, if it is explained outside, uh, outside the class, then you have to use the scope resolution operator. Now I'll say find frequency. And after that, within this, I'll close this. Uh, here I'll say frequency is equal to zero. So means to say, initially to start with, uh, you don't have uh, any count uh, of occurrence within an array. So therefore, I'll say that. That is, I'll initialize that to zero. And after that, I'll say for uh, int i is equal to zero i less than uh, what is called as uh, n i plus plus so here uh, i'll be using uh, if condition uh, if 
frequency is greater than uh, sorry here I need to uh, find out the occurrence so therefore if element is equal to a of i then what I'll do I need to increment the frequency so that is frequency plus plus and after that I'll close this and then what I'll do I'll close the remaining brackets over there so now what I'll do I have to display the uh, uh, result so for that I'll say again frequency void frequency again I'll be using uh, the uh, uh, scope resolution operator and after that I'll be using uh, display so within this uh, what I need to do is I need to find out how many occurrences of uh, the search element has occurred within an array so I'll say frequency is greater than zero uh, then what you have to do you have to do something some some uh, procedure else you have to display something else now within this what I will do I will say I uh, will be using C out so within that I will say frequency of I uh, will close this and I will display element and again I will close this I uh, will say is yes, close it and then I will display the uh, occurrence of frequency otherwise uh, within this for loop uh, what I'll do I'll come over here and I'll display if the uh, element is not present in the uh, what is it mm -hmm. array in that case I'll say ELE uh, does not exist and after that I'll close it so here uh, what what has happened is uh, like we have defined a uh, number of uh, uh, member functions and after that I'll start with the uh, uh, main uh, part main module that is void main so within this uh, I have to declare an object so I will define the class name that is called as a frequency and uh, f I'll, I'll define it as an object and I'll be using a clear screen in order to clear the uh, uh, DOS screen. Uh, the next thing is I'll be calling all the member functions that is by using the object called as f f dot get data and then after that uh, I'll be using f dot uh, find frequency. I'll be ending with that uh, semicolon and then I'll say f dot display and after that I'll close uh, and I'll be using of course a get ch uh, until uh, you look look into the uh, output uh, after that you will press a key and you will come back to the main screen now what I need to do uh, the particular program is complete and now I need to execute the uh, program over here in order to do so, I'll say I'll save this particular file as uh, frp1, and after that I'll say enter. Now what I'll do, I'll press Control F9. Uh, here you do have n number of uh, errors because we haven't declared any number, any kind of uh, elements that are uh, being used. So therefore I need to come back to this uh, private part and I need to declare dj n and after that the size of the array and then yearly. So so therefore what I will do again I will press F9 and so it, it gives me uh, two errors. So I have find frequency is unknown and again uh, here uh, find frequency uh, you do have two errors. So we need to check out uh, what is this uh, kind of thing. So here you can see that. Uh, this bracket is missing so therefore after writing that again I'll press Control F9 you do have five errors so therefore what I'll do mm, uh, this frequency is initialized to zero so means to say here I haven't declared uh, the uh, frequency term so therefore what I'll do I'll say FREQ 
and after that I'll compile this particular program again it gives me four errors yes of course uh, here uh, there is an error so therefore I put a semicolon I mean semicolon over there and again I'll press F9 so like this you will compute so one important thing that you need to understand is uh, we should not by heart any programs uh, we need to emphasize on uh, the debugging skills as and when required keep declaring the variables and after that try to debug and uh, try to understand the uh, logic part of it now what I'll do is I'll press Control F9 so here the size of the array let me tell you this it is 5 so let me give the elements as uh, 1, 2, 2, 2 and 3 and then press enter now uh, what is the search element that I need to uh, search let me assume that it is 2 so 2 uh, how many times it has occurred in the array there are uh, 3 times so therefore the frequency of 2 is 3 now I'll come back again uh, press yes and after that control F9 so here I'll again run the uh, give the size of the array as 1 and again I'll give the elements as 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4 here let me assume uh, 10 is the element that has to be searched of course we know that 10 is not present in the uh, array so therefore what happens it should give me the uh, result as 10 does not exist in the uh, array so therefore uh, this is how you will execute the uh, program and uh, thank you